So the next piece of things we want to focus on after getting lab set up is actually securing and protecting the local administrators group on your PCs. So if you click, click create policy and you select local user group membership, we're going to talk about this a little bit. So you just name it, whatever you want to name it. So basically you have two different things you can do here. And you can see here, you can select different groups you want to use. So you can do add, remove, add, replace. So adds like updating, you add a new user, remove is these ones you want to remove from it. Add, replace is when you want to say, this is all I want in there. And it's interesting because you can do both users and groups and you can do manual. So users and groups is great because you can actually add Azure AD groups to it. Manual allows you to add that lapse account you just created, which is really what we're focused on here. So if I select manual and I go to add users, so I'm going to add in Centrex admin. But what happens if you also want, and I don't know why you'd want to do this, but say you want to have a, a group of administrators and you want to add their Azure AD group to the local administrator group. How do you get there? Because you know what, you can't do the same thing you would do here anymore. And one of the keys to note is that you can add users like this. So you can go Azure AD and put their email address in. For users, that works. For groups, it doesn't. What you actually have to do is get their SID. So what I do is I go into groups and I have this test security group and I have an object ID, right? So I'm gonna take this object ID, copy that, I'm going to bring this over to the Graph Explorer and I'm going to run the query on it. And you'll see here as we go towards the bottom, that's my SID. So you're going to actually going to grab that SID. And there's actually scripted ways you can grab SIDs too, but we're just keeping it simple. And you plot that SID right in there. Then you hit OK. And then what you'll do is you'll go in and you'll just assign this to all devices. And what this is going to do is it's going to wipe out anybody who's in local ad admin, except for the, the built-in administrator account, which, you know, if you did things correctly and you configured your environment correctly, that account's already getting disabled. Um, and it'll only put in the accounts you specified in here. And this is how you use account protection to really control and secure the local administrators group. Enjoy.